everybody, welcome back to the Stuff of Legend. My name is Dilo, I'm your host, and today we have another episode of Bro Talk. <laughs> this is my man Jimmy. How's it going? He is a martial arts master fan, and he is also training martial arts. He's been training since he was young in mm -hmm. very fantastical ways. Yeah. Um, doing jiu-jitsu right now. Mm -hmm. uh, me and him... Uh, from time to time, we'll uh, train together every every so often, as often as we can. My life's been super busy. My life's swamped. Swamped. Very swamped. It's been uh, crazy, but mm -hmm. in light of things like uh, the Avengers Infinity War coming up, we wanted to be able to get together really quick and wait, talk wait, to wait. you guys. First things first. First things first. Do they know that you have welcomed a new member into your family? That is, Yes. We, okay. we will talk briefly okay. about that. I brought my son over to Jimmy so he could meet my son for the first time. Yeah, yeah, congrats. Thank you very much. Yes. It's a, it's a wonderful feeling having yeah. a son. I bet. It's, it's I tight. Bet. Yeah, you'll be there. You'll Daughters, be there. whatever. Da Sons, <laughs> that's where your lineage will, will, will the, the carry name, on. The name <laughs> will move forward in history. You know, mm -hmm. that, that's just where it's at, man. That's where it's Men. at. Men. The future is masculine. As I like to say. <laughs> the future is masculine. I uh, love that. I'm making a shirt. Uh, uh, yeah, you gotta make me a shirt for that okay. too. I'll, I'll put it on my daughter. Oh man. The, um, <laughs> so the, um, anyway, you guys get ready because th today's episode is gonna be really cool. We're gonna talk about stuff like fight predictions, which is something that Jimmy does on his channel. I do. Um, Jimmy, does, he has a, a YouTube channel, but that's not his primary source. He's on SoundCloud. He has an MMA podcast called Jim Talk. Yep. And um, he goes into all of the upcoming events, um, makes his predictions about the fights, who he thinks is going to win. Mm -hmm. um, it's really fun to listen to that, especially if you're a fan of MMA like we are. And um, uh, it's just, it's great. He covers all the, new, even some sometimes news events like uh, the Conor yeah. McGregor stuff. And I'll, I'll cover current events. I'll cover upcoming fight cards, boxing, uh, UFC, Bellator, mm -hmm. um, you know. And, uh, you know, kickboxing every once in a while. There's kickboxing events. I'll cover those. Mm. Um, a new thing just came out called Karate Combat. Mm. And uh, it is by Boss Rutten, who is a famous MMA fighter. I will also be covering uh, fights in Karate Combat. Sweet. Um, their first event is tomorrow. So if you'd like to watch it for free, download the Karate Combat app and you can watch that for free tomorrow. Check it out, guys. I'll put links in the description to Jimmy's sites and to all of his media. Yeah. He has three Instagram yes. channels that you can check Instagrams. out and follow. Very interesting stuff. He's always posting about um, upcoming cards and whatnot. Mm -hmm. um, predictions. Predictions. Events. Those are a lot of fun. You get to test your metal and your knowledge about who you think is going to win based on their skills, their stats, their history as a fighter. And it's um, fun when you're, you're trying to guess a card and you get fights right. Like you're like, oh man, like you know, like the adrenaline of being like, it, it's a little bit more like uh, like cheering for your favorite superhero in a superhero mm. showdown fight. Yeah. Um, it's like you, you're cheering for these guys that you've picked and the, the it almost means that much more to you when you're cheering for a guy and there's a little bit like at stake because like when I make my picks, I put them out there in the world so people see them. Exactly. But then next day I also put the, the results of the predictions. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it's like, you know, it, it's fun to be like, oh man, I missed that one. Or, oh man, I got that one. So, mm -hmm. you know. And so this video is going to kind of serve as that for us <laughs> with Marvel's Infinity War. Yes. So this is a huge event. I'm going to be seeing that movie tomorrow night, Thursday night, um, with a, a buddy that has been on the channel before, Zach Nagatani of 5 Minute Web Dev. Ooh, um, Zach. Yeah, Zach, we're gonna be out there. Uh, we're gonna go to we all the almost all the showings are sold out, but yeah. we found one with two seats right next to each other that weren't in the absolute front of the theater. I'll be seeing it whenever the theaters aren't sold out anymore. <laughs> That's how it's gonna have to be. They're for, sold out for a good three weeks, man. I know, dude. This is a huge Solid event. Three weeks sold out. Massive ticket sales. Uh, it's it's gonna be a, a record setting. Do we number know of how long the movie is? Two and a half hours. That's a Lord of the Rings film. It's a Lord of the Rings film here. <laughs> so we wanted to get into this one really quick. Yes. Um, the uh, the predictions for the deaths. 
of Marvel's Infinity War. Again, this no, hurts. neither of us have seen this film. This is no. going to hurt our feelings because we've been writing this since this 2008. It hurts. It hurts. It hurts to talk about this. 2008? Yeah. That was when the first Iron Man came out. Some of us have been waiting since 2006 and 2007 when they announced that they were going to be making an Iron Man film. And, um, you know, it's just... It hurts. But... <laughs> okay. I'm going to make my prediction, okay? Okay. So I think right off the bat, I think that Iron Man is going to die. I think Iron Man's going to die. And I also want to say I think that Chris Evans character captain america steve rogers is going to die in this one in this one you think they're both wiped out and i think thor is going to survive you think they both die in this one i think they both die Oof. i think they're both gonna Dude, die. that is rough now i can't say whether or not they are going to come back by some means of maybe like using the time stone or i don't know about any of that okay i'm not going to try to say how the plot is going to happen that... i just think that they are not going to we're not going to see them be, okay, wait, actually, hold up. We need to factor in the fact that they filmed both films at the same time. So they filmed the first Infinity War. And Did they, they really? Filmed, they filmed the next film immediately after. Oh, my god! And so that one's, I think it might have already wrapped I didn't know filming. That. I did not know that. And so I can't, I, it's hard to tell, especially for us fans who, who watch these things. But I'm going to go ahead and just wager it anyway. I'm going to say um, I think that Cap's going to die. I think that Iron Man's going to die. And probably a, a ton. I'd be willing to bet that maybe four others are going to die, but I, it's hard to tell. Oh Off the bat, I'll just say those two. Who do, what do you think? Um, I, for this film, yeah, I will disagree with that. Okay. I will say that we talked about this a while back, and I don't want to change what I said because I believed in it so wholeheartedly, so I'm trying to remember, but I think I said Captain America is the only one who dies in this film, and this one. Okay. Um, and you think in like the next one, Avengers four or something? I think in the because in, in the trailer that we've seen, do you do you remember when Thanos was like? It almost looked like he was testing Cap's strength. Yeah, I did. Yeah, and yeah. He almost like smirks when Cap's like ah, like holding his the, the gauntlet. Yeah, he's fighting it. Yeah, I feel like in that moment, I feel like Cap gets crushed. Hmm. <laughs> people, people. That's hard to people. It's hard to think about. People right are there. talking about people. People are talking about the Soul Stone in Cap. I watched that trailer mm -hmm. about fifty times trying to find the Soul Stone in his eye. Yeah. Didn't see it. Yeah, he doesn't. I don't think. You know who I think has the Soul Stone, and I think is going to wrap into all of this. Hmm. This is this is a this is a wild prediction. Okay. Cable. Cable. <laughs> Cable has the soul stone. Cable has the soul stone. No, I, yeah, that's funny. Thanos beats up. Thanos Cable. comes out and he like split personality or Brolin something. And, yeah, Brolin, Brolin and Brolin. plays both of them. No, um, that'd be but perfect. In, I would all, love that. I'd pay to see in that. In all seriousness, I think in that because it looked like a slow motion moment. Mm -hmm. I feel like in that moment, um, Cap's uh, crew is starting to like beat Thanos's crew. Yeah, and. Um, and I feel like Thanos, he's not going to like crush Cap, mm -hmm. but I feel like he kills Cap right there. Hmm. And then I feel like everyone sees it, and it's one of those moments where it's like the leader dies, or the leader's being killed or whatever, and everyone's fighting to get to him. Yeah. And, uh... The emotions I'm already feeling. Yeah, right now, and everyone's like, fighting to get to him, huh. and Thanos is just like crushing him over and over. Maybe he's like yeah. pounding him with a gauntlet or something. Yeah. Uh, um, <laughs> oh, dude, dude, I'm, 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 I'm gonna I'm cry going, so hard. I'm going into such detail about this because this is what I feel like is gonna happen. <laughs> I have not seen this movie. No one's seen this movie. No. We haven't seen this yet. No. This is our hope. This well, not hopes. This is like what is racing through our minds right now and, in and, preparation for the film. And like. And then I feel like there's going to be a moment where they see him, like, die. Yeah. And they have to retreat. You know what I mean? Because you imagine the Because then Thanos brokenness. has just beat Cap and everyone saw it. And now they have to retreat because Thanos is pushing forward now. Yeah. That's what I feel like is uh, going to happen. I feel my like, heart. <laughs> my soul. I mean. <laughs> my it, childhood. It, since we're talking about they, they might have wrapped the next film already. Yeah. I feel like. It's going to bleed um, into. Iron Man doesn't die till the next film. 
I know it's possible. We, this is this is why I think this happens because they show Iron Man in such a weak state, half his suit's hanging off, he looks all beat up, Hold. and I feel like um, Captain America's suit is all beat up and it's hanging off of him, and he looks like he's about to die. And Thanos says that I can't remember the line he says, but uh, do you remember? Oh, uh, Cap's line or uh, no Thanos's Thanos? line when Iron Man's like like hugged over or whatever. Oh, I hope that they re remember you. Or, That's yeah. something like that, and I feel like. Something happens, Iron Man gets saved, and I feel like they're tricking us into thinking Iron Man's about to die, but I but feel like not. later in the film, Cap dies. Yeah. Yeah. The pain, but guys. But I feel like Iron Man doesn't die till the next film. Yeah. It's very possible. I think... I, I, or... I'd be willing to wager that those are the two people that are going to have the most emotional weight... Yeah. ...in this film to drive the plot forward, so at least one of them is going to have to die in this film. Yeah. I would. I think that two of them are probably going to die, and that's going to spur somebody either like Letitia Wright to step in as Ironheart, or yeah. they're going to they're going to have because um, that that would allow her to stay a tech would person. They bring, would they bring Captain Marvel into the mix? They could, because technically she already exists. So her film is going to take place in the '90s. It's a precursor. So her oh. movie is a flashback, and so she already None does exist. We just don't know where she's been. Okay. And so she's probably off, like, fighting the, the Kree or something, and um, okay. she's going to maybe have to come back for this one. We might see her we make her appearance. We might see her in the, in the credits. We might see her in the credits. We know she's going to be in the second one. I will say one. this. If Iron Man dies in this film, it's not till the end. Hmm. And I feel like... I could, I could uh, believe like, that. Like, he get, like, him, Thanos walking up on him saying, I hope they remember you or whatever, and he's, like, all, like, beat up. Mm -hmm. Suits hanging off of him. I feel like... He's so injured, like, Thanos beats him up a little bit more, and then he has to go, like, away to some facility. Maybe he goes to Wakanda, and they yeah. start fixing him up. I feel like maybe he dies on a hospital table. Mm. He succumbs to his injuries in the credits, though. I feel like it happens in the credits. Yeah. I feel like it ends, and we're like, okay, so what happened to Iron Man? They cut to the credits. Peter That'd Parker's be the there. Credit. Peter Ugh. Parker's there. A couple other people are there. Black Widow, maybe. Uh... Peppers might Pepper Potts might make a reappearance. Yeah. I feel like he dies Happy on the hospital Hogan table, and then Spider Man takes over. Stark Industries, bro. Uh, right? Ah, uh, this is just this is like this is torture, man. Thor lives. Thor fine. Thor lives. Groot, Groot might die again. Thor's we franchise just got hot. Thor, yeah. Thor just lives. Got hot, dude. Guardians just got hot. Groot might die again. We don't know. I think mean, Root won't die, but I bet you anything, Drax is gonna have a hand in taking down Thanos, and he might die in the process. You know, you know, uh, you know who I think comes back and stops him. Hmm. Um, the dude from the first Guardians, the villain. Oh, uh, um, uh, Ronan. The Ronan. Accuser? I think Ronan comes back. That would be very interesting because I think we they had the power. Because we didn't see him like die. Yeah. No one's, dead the power stone. no one's dead until you see him die. Until you see them die. Mm. Yeah, that's true. I mean, he kind of like he kind of got obliterated by the power of the Infinity Stone. However, we also saw that with Red Skull. Exactly. And Red Skull is Red still. Red Skull might come back. It's uncertain whether or not he's dead because it was the Space Stone. There's a there's a theory that all of the people that were killed by means of the the what? Space Stone by the Cosmic Cube, they were just transported somewhere. We don't know where. What if Thanos has been building an army throughout the years of all the Avengers villains? Red Skull. Oh, you get like the, um, the, oh, what's his name? The mastermind, like the mastermind guy, the, the brain guy from uh, Hulk. You know what I'm talking about? Because he was <laughs> never, Blue? Re he was never resolved. Mr. Blue? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, Mr. Blue from Mr. the, Blue? yeah, the computer. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then also the uh, abomination. Mm -hmm. Let's see what happens with him. Dude. There's a lot that that Watch could Venom happen. Make an appearance. <sighs> if Venom makes an appearance, that's going to be the biggest surprise of all because I will. that would mean that Sony and Marvel have been lying this entire time about them not really being yeah, but, in the same universe. But they haven't, or they have been lying. Because what about Spider-Man? Well, Spider-Man was the one shared property, and they said that the entire like other film properties like Venom. Uh, Black Cat and Silver Sable, which I believe they canceled. Um, a bunch of other like properties they've been trying to get off the ground without using Spider-Man. I don't think we need the Silver Sable or Black 
I don't think we need a Silver Sable and Black Cat. I probably wouldn't even see it, honestly. Hey, Fantastic Four's getting a reboot. They better. Is there, that's... John, Cran John Cran Krasinski? Krasinski? Yeah. He's been talking about it. John Krasinski's been talking about wanting to play Mr. Fantastic. And Emily Blunt. And his wife, Emily Blunt, playing his in-character wife, uh, Susan Storm. John Cena. I actually... John Cena playing what? You know. The thing? <laughs> that would be really, really funny. I actually like John Cena. I like him too. I like John Cena. I like The Rock. I love. I'll say. I'll say in a couple years here, John Cena's the next Rock. Yeah, I can see that. He's making good. He's making some funny films. You know who's doing great is uh, Dave Bautista. Yes, Dave Bautista. Yes. All these WWE guys stepping up. Uh, Blade Runner twenty twenty four. Yeah, and also Bautista. the. Um, I forget what the other movie was he plays. He played in recently, but he was a cop. And um, mm -hmm. uh, excuse me, guys. I have, have some bad allergies out. today. I have to check that out. But he's uh, he's making a name for himself in yeah. Hollywood. He's uh, he's these, good. these uh, WWE guys are making a real trip. Some of them. Let, let's some. not get crazy. Some of these guys are, cannot act. Yeah, it's true. Yeah. Um, but I like John Cena as a comic. He's really yeah, he's good. funny. Anyway, <sighs> excuse me. Getting back to the Avengers. So your prediction is Cap and Iron Man die in this film. Yeah. My prediction is if they both die, one of them dies early, one of them dies late, or only Cap dies. Yeah. Because I don't think they kill Iron Man in this film until the end. If they do, I also think that it's very possible we're going to see um, we're going to see a death that shocks us. shocks us, like maybe. Black Widow. It's possible that I think we see her. Her death would set off the Hulk. I, th I think we see Jeremy Renner die. Yeah, that was, if he's in it, he's not even in the poster. Let's be honest. I think that the Marvel Cinematic Universe can afford to lose Hawkeye because, oh, and I love Hawkeye. He was actually the first cosplay I did for the Avengers. Was Hawkeye? I love Hawkeye. But and Jeremy Renner, fantastic actor. I love him. I actually got to see him at a Comic Con. Um, or it was, uh, I forget what it was, like a wizard con. Him? Not very tall, he's like my height. I thought he was like five, uh, five, nine or something. Five, nine, yeah, I was yeah. going to say that. He's like my height. But, um, oh, dude, if we, if we see some supporting characters die, it's going to further motivate the primary characters. If we see a primary character die, you're going to see everybody get motivated. So I think that there's probably going to be one or two primary deaths, and then maybe a couple smaller deaths to motivate the, the bigger people. Do you and think we see any X-Men? I, okay, I, I would love to see X-Men. I don't think we're going to see X-Men because the Not deal... Not even a Wolverine teaser? They might verbalize something, but I don't think we're going to see somebody. I have a question Yo. about a Wolverine teaser. Okay. Because there has been one. Thanos' one? scars on his face. Oh, the three claws? On both sides. Yeah. In an X formation, kind of. What do you think? I know, I know I've seen the one where it goes from the top down, three claws. Yeah. They're on um, both sides. And I thought about that too, about it being Wolverine, it's possible, but then it's like, is it because he's and been one jumping? one starts higher than the other. Oh, the, the, the middle one? Yeah. I think if it's, if it's Wolverine, because it could be anybody, there's thousands of creatures out there in the Marvel Universe that potentially could have done that. But one that scars you? One that scars the Mad Titan. One that scars Mystique. Yeah. No one's ever been able to leave a scar except Wolverine. Yeah. Wolverine, man. It's possible. They could be teasing us with that. Um, he said he would come back if he was Hugh? in the MCU. Yeah, Hugh Jackman did say that. He said that the only thing that would have him come back was if he could be Wolverine in the MCU. And everybody would love that. Dear that would God, sell please let him come back. millions of dollars worth of merchandise to have him there before well. Logan though it would be before Logan oh yeah of course yeah because Logan they already said was in the in a dystopian future it's not the current timeline it's the future and it's a possible future please let that happen so even though he's dead it doesn't mean he's actually dead where we're at now in the MCU so it could happen I would love it if that happened um, the only person that I think could replace him accurately at this time in my finite knowledge of what could possibly happen is um, Tom Hardy who's playing Venom yeah that's not going to work. And it, well, it could work. Because look at Josh Brolin playing Thanos. And then in a disconnected but also Marvel franchise with a Fox Marvel team up. Okay. He's also playing Cable. 
and it's well known, and they don't even care that they mention it in Deadpool trailers. It's part of the marketing. Oh, so it's very possible that they could have that happen, but um, and it's it's even more feasible that they would do that uh, type of a uh, dual casting with Venom because it's Sony and they've said that the universes aren't connected. Mm. So it would be even easier for them to say And he's Venom also... and Wolverine would never meet up, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, and Venom and Wolverine wouldn't meet up, so it wouldn't it wouldn't make a difference. Um, I think that could be very cool. Okay. Except for in a lot of the recent comics, they've placed the X Men in San Francisco. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Venom's in San Francisco. So okay, so let's let's talk about this real quick since we're doing since like we're doing like a fight thing type of yeah fight predictions. Okay. To keep with the way of MMA. Cap versus Thanos. Dude, in in the comics, Cap there is a there's a scene where Captain America gets gets a legit punch, and and hurts Thanos. Yeah. And, and he was, um, I think he was the only one who survived when he destroyed the universe. I'm gonna, I'm gonna break this down MMA style. Break it down. We got, we got Thanos probably walking around at, what you say, twelve foot and a half. Yeah. We got Cap walking around at probably six two. Sounds accurate. Thanos is probably six hundred pounds. Probably, if not more. Cap is probably two oh five, two twenty, somewhere in there. Yeah. Two fifteen. Could be maybe like two fifty or something. Oh man! So, what have, we, what have we seen from Cap? We've seen ridiculous strength. Ridiculous, like strength, ridiculous, like to the point speed, that good speed, decent like, footwork. Nice. He's got speed in his hands, power. His fight training. What we've seen in the movie universe is a little bit different than what he is in the comics. In the yep. comics, he is one of the greatest fighters in the Marvel yep. universe. He's up there with the likes of. Iron Fist. He's up okay. there with the likes of Wolverine. Okay. And he's somebody that even Wolverine submits to and respects for his fighting ability, not just for uh, his honor. But mm -hmm. it's like, as a fighter, it's someone that even Wolverine bows down to. Okay. So Captain America is nobody's sissy. Yeah. He, is, he is the man. And people may not recognize this if all you've seen is maybe the first Captain America. It's hard to get that feel from him but if you saw the winter soldier um or if you see like the airport scene in in uh cap three you see him and even iron man tells spider-man look kid if cap wanted to lay you out he would have it's it's to it's so that we can get a feel for if spider-man is strong enough to lift and throw buses and you know do you know ridiculous feats of like 20 20 tons of weight yeah then yeah. and cap can best that Cap must be pretty legit. Let's talk about... I mean, he went one-on-one -on -one with the Winter Soldier. Yes, he did. He went one-on-one -on -one with the Red Skull, right? And both, and both he, times, he was holding back. Because yeah, he's not trying to kill anybody. He's not trying anybody. to kill anybody. He's not trying to kill anybody. He's yeah. never tried to kill anybody. He went... For some parts of that movie, he went one-on-one -on -one with uh, Iron Man. With Iron Man. And his suit adds a considerable amount, amount of strength. Power, too. And power, Yes. I will take, so I would say Cap's more of a, a boxer style clinch grappler. Yeah. And Thanos, I think, is just going to be a straight power boxer. He's yeah. just going to throw those heavy, heavy hands, especially with the gauntlet on. He's going to feel invincible. He's basically going to be hulking out. Yep, yep, yep. And uh, He's essentially Brock Lesnar. Gosh, yeah. And uh, <laughs> Except he could probably take a punch. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> Shot at Brock. Yeah, there you uh, go. I mean, I know I predicted Cap to die, but if I was taking like a fight, one night fight, I think I would take uh, Cap. Without the just gauntlet. off pure will. Yeah, without without the Infinity Gauntlet. I think I think he can break Thanos. Mm -hmm. If Thanos didn't have that gauntlet, I think Thanos kills Cap because of the gauntlet. I don't think he could kill him without it. But if I'm taking a one on one, no gauntlet, like they're in a MMA match, UFC cage or whatever, I think. Uh, I think Cap breaks him. Yeah. It's very possible. I, I think that Cap has that ability. I think that Cap can stack up against Thanos. Despite the fact that Thanos is around the same strength level yeah. as the Hulk. Uh, it just in we're talk we're not talking about the infinite growing strength of the Hulk. We're talking about his resting Hulkness. Yeah. Because um, I, I could just see I could just see Cap out wrestling Thanos, to be honest. Yeah. Based on like skill. Yeah. 
Um, although you saw that the gauntlet was wider than his shoulders. <laughs> Thanos he is a was big dude. Grabbing his gauntlet fingers from fingers to pinky like this. Both hands. Like when you go to a boardwalk, if you live near a beach and you grab that strength thing, that's what it was like. Yeah. Like those two big poles. Like go to the grocery store and grab, grab two big cucumbers. <laughs> those are Thanos' fingers. That's amazing. <laughs> You'll feel like Captain America. I don't even know what to think right now. I'm, just, I'm, I'm hardly sleeping because I'm so excited for Infinity War. But it really looked like Thanos was just like, like this, like a child. Play, and like, then the grin. Kind of grin, smirk a little he's bit, off. holding back. And Cap is really giving it everything he's got. That's yeah. why I think Cap dies in that moment. Yeah. Because Thanos is just like, crush. And it's one arm. <laughs> the other arm's probably going to come up and just, yeah, good news. Yeah! Just smash. Yeah. Let's let's talk about, I mean, because oh, it, so like, it looks like Iron Man's getting the break speed off of him. Yeah. Thanos, <laughs> Iron Man. Thanos versus Iron Man. Dude, Thanos is going to, Thanos. Thanos all day. I think Thanos is just too... I think Thanos has been around too long. I think he's too crafty when it comes to battle, especially against a guy who's just going to fly around and shoot missiles. I think Thanos just kind of like... The missiles come at him, and he's just like, ting, yeah. with the gauntlet. Ting, Iron, ting. Iron Man has the suit AI to help him with strategy, but let's face it, he's not a fighter fighter. No. Like He doesn't have any fight training. Maybe no. some calisthenics, some he's light boxing. Kickboxing, whatever... He's, retirement but he's, he's not a fighter. You know, it's like, he's he's a tech Let's guy. also talk about this. He's basically Bruce Wayne of... Yeah, uh, of Marvel. Of Marvel. Let's talk about the fact that I feel like Bruce Wayne's a better fighter than Iron Man. I feel like... The, Batman, by far. I feel by like far. Batman would beat the brakes off Iron Man. The only person I think in the Marvel Universe that Batman would not be able to beat toe-to-toe -to -toe is Captain America. Who's older? Um, what? In As far as, like... Age-wise. Batman or Iron Man? I think Iron Man's probably a couple years older. Okay. Well, it just depends on what storyline you're so going with. So age, let's talk about like right now. So like, Let's talk about Christian Bale, Bruce Wayne, because that's the only Batman I recognize. <laughs> ben Affleck, get out of my face. Yeah. <laughs> um, and Tony Stark. And Tony Stark. I would think that Iron Man's a little bit older. Probably, right? Probably like 10 years. And he's in a metal suit. You, When you get thrown or, or smashed, you're clinging around your body in a metal suit. You might have an exoskeleton or whatever, some shock absorbers or whatever. You're still in a metal suit. Yeah. So what happens that's why that's why crushed? Rhodes that's why Rhodes wasn't okay when he fell from the sky. Yeah. He was in a metal broke, suit. It broke his back. So let's talk. I mean, we're gonna see him too. By the way, he's gonna be in Rhodes. This. Yeah. Good. I like him. Yeah, I like especially him. the character switch. Yeah. Yeah. I really, I, I really mean, appreciate the, Don Cheadle. Yeah, Don, Don Cheadle's, Cheadle's a better nice. actor. Um, but I feel like. Thanos beats the brakes off Iron Man all day. I think so. They fight ten times, Iron Man maybe wins one. Yeah. I'll be very shocked. I'll be very shocked to see if Iron Man has any of He that. might get away, but that's just him getting away. He's definitely going to lose that fight. He might have a hand in a greater scheme plan to the take Hulk down Buster Thanos. The Hulkbuster might save him. Like, he might call the Hulkbuster in and that might save him and he might get away. Yeah. Or Thanos like, or, is uh, going to rip the Hulkbuster to shreds and Iron Man will be safe, but he got beat to shreds. A lot of people think that based on the trailers that it's actually um, uh, Bruce Banner inside of the Hulk Buster. Oh, really? And he's trying not to turn back into the Hulk, oh. so he's actually wearing the Hulk Buster because, oh, frankly, that's it's... that's dumb. I think that you're right. Give us what I think we that you're want. right, though. Give us the... what we want. Yeah, <laughs> we want the Hulk. Everyone wants the Hulk. I think what's going to happen is, like you said, Thanos is going to tear the Hulk Buster apart after some time, and then he's about to kill... Um, Bruce and then maybe he does do some squashing move or some blast and then everyone thinks he's dead and then later he's going to come back because you can't freaking kill the Hulk I think, the Hulk's going to come back and smash I think I think the Hulk absolutely wrecks Thanos if they fight I would love to yeah. see that <laughs> I don't know how many of you guys are familiar with MMA but let's think like uh, let's think if Brock Lesnar f no, no that's dumb let's think if uh trying to think of like a well-known fighter um you can go back a few years what about yeah. like someone gsp like... yeah how many george of you guys, so george hopefully, Saint hopefully you guys know george st pierre gsp let think about george st pierre versus cm punk CM that punk. is <laughs> the hulk versus thanos that's what it should be i think the hulk is too fast 
I think he's too strong. I think if Thanos starts landing punches, I think the Hulk's only going to get angrier. When he mm-hmm. gets angrier, he gets stronger and faster, yeah. more explosive. I think if I think the Hulk could straight up pull off the uh, ankle grab to uh, <laughs> the Loki smash, the Loki <laughs> smash <laughs> on <laughs> Thanos. Thanos, your Infinity Gauntlet will not save you from the Hulk. <laughs> <laughs> it won't. It, it well, won't. We're going to see because that's Wolverine can't beat the Hulk. Thor can't beat the Hulk. Uh, Possibly. Mm, he got stopped in his last fight. I can't, I'm trying to remember that movie. Who won? Technically. Thor. Thor didn't win. Thor didn't win because he had, he had the thing here, and the Grand Master saw Thor was going to win, and he shocked him. Hey man, I'll but you know what's funny? is They, they should have explained what those shockers were, like maybe some sort of chemical compound that inter- interferes with your neuro, neuro, neurological system okay. or whatever. Because I think it's pretty stupid that you're going to use a shocker an electrical a item, lightning bolt, a light, yeah, a lightning shocker, to take down the god of thunder. Uh, I think that's kind of a, a that plot hole. I don't, I don't see that being a thing. They should have just had like some injector. It should, yeah. I mean, it was in his neck here, but it um, looks like it's behaving. The like guy a who's made out of rocks, Korg. Korg. He beats that. I mean, he beats Thanos. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> It sounds like you want someone to just beat the tar out of Thanos. <laughs> did you did you see Korg almost kick Loki's ghost? Come oh, on. Oh yeah. There I, was speed and power. Oh yeah, I saw Korg. Yeah, he was quite quite nice when I saw him. He's freaking gone. Yeah. Oh, that was Doug. Hello, new Doug. Doug's dead. <laughs> Doug's dead. <laughs> he goes. Look, another like, day, another dog. He's like, ah, get out of here, you freaking ghost. Yeah. <laughs> he's freaking gone. <laughs> he's freaking gone. <laughs> So funny. Another day, another Doug. Oh my gosh, he's. I have to watch that movie. Again. He's the best. I have I, to watch that movie tonight. I will. I want to see who he teams up with. Cause it, Cork. That's, yeah, because that's one of the things okay, that they're going to be so, doing. So check it. I think he and uh, Drax mm-hmm. get along really well. Yeah, I think they get along really well in this movie. If Korg is in this movie, I don't know if he is. Okay. I. You want to. You want to know something? I know he's just getting started. But I think Doctor Strange has something catastrophic happen to him. In the trailer, we see that um, I forget I forget who it was. I one really of the black one him. of the members of the Black Order has the ability to control people with his mind. And when you see those giant psychic needles going into Doctor Strange. He's like, like he's being mentally invaded yeah, right now, and like so stabbed. something bad is going to happen. Before you go on, I will say this: Hawkeye is not on the poster. He's not on the poster or in any of the trailers. But. I don't know the Asian guy's name from Doctor Strange. Oh, oh, um, oh, that's uh, give me, give me like fourteen seconds. <laughs> no, no, dude. Um, it was uh, Wong, Wong, Wong. He and his name are on the poster, but Jeremy Renner and his character are not on. Isn't that something? There's a lot of people that think he's going to be Ronan because his family dies. Um, what's it called? Black Panther's sister is on the poster. Yeah, Shuri, Letitia Wright's character. Have you heard the theory that a lot of people think she's the next Iron Man? Yes. We yes. Think about that. I think that it's perfectly valid because okay. if Iron Man dies, someone someone is going to be the next tech giant. They've already shown us uh, that she... See, I thought it was Peter Parker that was going to be the next tech giant. And it could be, but he also wants to be there for the little guy. So he said he didn't want to take up the but, Iron Spider suit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he's going to have to for this next It one. looks like it. He yeah. has to, but he's going to, when it's done, he's going to go back to being the, the Spider-Man. So. And she'll probably take up the Iron Man role as Iron Heart. So it looks like, and I, I, I could be wrong, but it looks like in part of the trailer, Doctor Strange and Iron Man, when they're exchanging pleasantries, and they're like, oh, we're using our made-up name. Well, I'm Spider-Man. Yeah. It looks like they're in Wakanda. Like they're in like the tech place of Wakanda. It looks like maybe. I'll have to look at that again. I, I remember I could it be wrong, being but darker. It, it looked like a black and bluish dark room. Yeah. And it was like in waves almost. That it could be either in Wakanda, in, inside of a tech thing, or yeah. it could be um, in Doctor Strange's place and maybe he was using a shield because his house got destroyed yeah. and he was hiding them. It could be some sort of magic. I just had a new theory hit my brain. What's good? Let me hit you with some knowledge. Let me hit it. I think they go to Wakanda. And I'm totally changing everything that I just said for this whole thing. <laughs> Iron Man dies early. Iron Man dies early? Yeah. Okay, give it to me. Spider-Man gets recruited by Cap. And that's that why be, he's in Wakanda. That would be pretty sweet. 
I mean, Although, not, not like Iron Man dying. But the... Nothing to swing from. That does suck. They're going to have that whole Spider-Man homecoming sequence where he's running through the backyards and then he's like, yeah. he hits that field. He's, he's straight going to have to use his running webs. Through the sprinklers. He's straight going to have to use his webs to just fly at people. Yeah, he's going to have to do like the slingshot. Yeah, or the, 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 the bombs or whatever, the balls. Oh, yeah, web, web grenades? Web grenades. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it'll probably That's what that. he's going to have to do. Well, I mean, with the iron spider suit, he could also have another form of transformation, which would be Or if the there's legs. ships flying over, the legs he's just going to use the ships. Yeah, that's true. He could hang from, like, a um, one of the Quinjets from yeah. um, Black Panther. You know Dude. what's funny is Black Panther, a lot of people don't know this, um, Black Panther got a lot of its um, income by selling vibranium to certain individuals. And I think that how Howard Stark got a hold of some vibranium was from acquiring it from someone on the black market, but it was someone legit from Do Wakanda. You, and how did Ryder get his? Ryder? Yeah. Ryder who? Isn't Ryder? Dude, I'm like totally like forgetting all X-Men right now. X-Men? Wolverine. Wolverine. Oh, Stryker. Stryker. Ryder. What yeah. Well, that was adamantium. Sorry, guys. That was adamantium, not vibranium. What am I thinking of? Vibranium. So vi oh. vibranium is Cap Shield. Cap Shield, yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's Howard okay. Stark. Okay. Yeah, I know. For sure. I got you. I got you. Two two strong metals, guys. Forgive me. Very strong metals. There's One of them is yelling alien. at this podcast right now. I know. Like, oh my gosh, who is this guy? He knows nothing. <laughs> he knows, he knows, I know some stuff. Guys. He knows exactly how powerful the Hulk is. Oh my God. I know that Thanos needs to die. That's enough. Thanos needs to die. You know what's funny? As I I did the unthinkable and I watched a non spoiler review for of? Infinity War. You know what? I saw one too by Boss Logic. Boss Logic? Yep. I didn't see his. I saw. Um, I actually saw two of these reviews. I saw John Campia's quick thoughts, not his official review, but his quick thoughts before. Just give me a quick like. Did he say it was good? Yes or no? He said that Thanos is probably the greatest villain in the MCU because oh he's the main God. character of this movie. How dare you? The main character. So you follow Come him. On, you get bro. to ego. Ego. <laughs> Ego, oh no, Taser face. Taser face. Taser face. Oh my gosh, that's the greatest villain. That is, of all time. that's the greatest villain of all time. Um, let's let, give me, give me your five greatest, uh, DC or Marvel doesn't matter. Okay. Give me your five greatest superheroes. Superheroes? Yeah. Oh jeez. Okay. Know, just give me like first one that comes to your mind. Oh man, that I know, sucks. I know, I know, I know. I'm all right. You, I'm hitting you with the fly ball here. <sighs> that sucks. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna go out on a limb and just go go for the rattle them off closest to in my mind perfect depictions of those characters I can all right so and I'm you gonna, can even give the actors because you know there's been some different people who play yeah certain guys I'm gonna go ahead and say um, I'm gonna start out and just say I think that Tom Holland is perfect as Spider Man I think really I do over uh, Toby Toby I do oh. Now there's obviously a few but things he's not in a there. Nerd. He is a nerd. That's one of the things though that is there that I don't I don't think is absolutely perfect, but it's not about him, it's about the way that the writers took the story okay. was he's, you know, was his best friend in the comic books? Uh no. So his best friend is Harry, right? Harry like, it depends on what story you're going with. Talk but yes, me, Harry. I'm, not a, I'm Harry. Not a huge comic book reader. Harry, yes. So okay. the the whole Ned thing came from the Ultimate Spider-Man. Yeah, my face. And that was Miles Morales' best friend, not Peter Parker's. Yeah. So they, they Which swapped version things. did Stan Lee write? Harry or Ned? Harry. Get in my face with that Ned. <laughs> yeah. Hey, bring back yeah. Harry. Yeah. And in, in the comics it wasn't Ned. His name was um some there a it was black an Asian thing. Spider Man? Like, yeah. Not a black suit, but a black, black man. Yeah, that's that's Miles Morales, the ultimate Is Spider Man. Is he gay? No. Is there a gay Spider Man? I don't know. That's what I've heard. Moving on. I don't know that there is. So that's your number check. five? So, uh... I don't Tom Holland, Spider-Man? Probably number five. Okay, Tom Holland, Spider-Man. Let's number go with... Uh, perfect casting would be, like, Hugh Jackman, Wolverine. Hugh Jackman, Wolverine. I have no problems with him at all. Every every problem I've ever had with the Wolverine in that story uh, is probably story. just straight-up writing. Like, for yeah. all of his films. I gotcha. It's just story writing. It's not Wolverine. Him is perfect casting. Him as Logan? Perfect. That Perfect. movie was amazing. One of the best ever. And uh, I'm going to go with... Um, this is just heroes, right? Not villains. No, next I'll go villains season. next. Are you? Worry. Okay, next. All right. Yes. So then I'm going to go, uh, just for to be quick, Robert Downey Jr. is Iron Man. Was that 
That was you gave Wolverine. Yeah. Robert Downey Jr. Yeah. Two. Um, and then let's go. Um, I am going to agree. It's so hard because there's so many really great castings. This is just this is just the top five. So don't get mad if we left someone out. It's just the top five. Yeah, just top our five. top five. Our opinions. Yeah, just off the fly because we didn't prep this. We did um, not. So uh, I said Bring Tom Holland, Spider Man, uh, Robert Downey Jr., okay. Iron Man, Wolverine, Luke Hugh Jackman. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and say that yeah, number one off the cuff. What about four, four and five? You did. Spider Man. Spider Man. Iron, Iron Man, Man. Wolverine. Wolverine. Let's go with. I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and jump jump to um, uh, Henry Cavill as as Man of Steel. I loved him. That's the most recent guy. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Got he's it. the guy from Justice yeah. League with the him. guy who played. He's like, it's not like we're moving a freaking mustache. The guy, the guy who, <laughs> the guy who was in uh, Justice League, and Arrow, ba Batman versus the guy who played Superman. That was an Arrow who played oh. uh, Adam. Get out of my face. Yeah, yeah, he's not the real. Your he's film the real. with the the boy rapist. What's his name? Boy rapist. Oh, oh, uh, um. Shoot, dang nabbit! He was on the cover of that video game too. Yep. Um, uh, it's Kevin Spacey. Spacey. Kevin Spacey. That's the one. Get out of my face. Get out of here. No one likes. As far you. as I'm concerned. Yeah, forget you. That film doesn't exist. It doesn't, and it should never. Um, and then lastly, for superheroes, ah, uh, dude, this sucks. Because there's so many that are so good. You know what yeah. I mean? It's like I don't want to be like. And it could be from anywhere. It doesn't have to be Marvel, DC. It could just be from anywhere. Oh really? Yeah. Really? Okay. Yeah. Um, well, in that case... Because I'm about to go off. You're about to go deep? All right, I'm going to go ahead and just... I'm going to add this in there. I think that the most perfect casting for yeah, it, anybody out there is going to have to be Ryan Reynolds' Deadpool. Bingo. It has to be. Bingo. Like, you have to... I mean, Cap, Cap obviously... The most perfect... There's nobody oh more perfect gosh. for Deadpool. There isn't. I mean, he is the literal embodiment. It's almost like that character was written for Ryan Reynolds. Um, so I'll go superheroes, okay. and then we'll rattle off villains. So it right. gives you time to think about villains. All right, I'm thinking. Okay. My top five superheroes. Spawn. Yeah. <laughs> I, I forgot what the actor the actor's um, name is. It's been so long. That's an old one. Yeah. That's it's not. That's uh, not recent. They need to do that again. Jay. Actually. No. He was in Bloodbone too. He was also in, basically just the guy that played. He was, yeah, he, he was also <laughs> he was also in. Uh, no, it's gonna bother me if I don't know. So I'm gonna look it up real quick. Okay. Gives you more time to think. Okay. Um, but he was also in. Uh, are you able to think of who else might be? Uh, yes, we can, uh, we can circle back to Spawn. Yep. And it is Michael J. White. Michael J. White. Michael J. White? Yep. He is the bomb. Okay? So I'm going Spawn. I'm hoping he gets the role of Blade. I'm going Blade. Yeah, that's also Wesley what I was... Snipes Blade. Wesley Snipes, uh, yeah. Best Blade until we see Michael J. White. You know, yeah, if Michael J. White gets Blade, then we might have an argument might. to be made there. Maybe. Or we go Blade, but we do Michael B. Jordan. <laughs> that Give me be, some. That would be so Give sick. Give me some. That would be so sick. You know they're talking with, um, uh, what's his name? Uh, the the kid from Star Wars. Who? Uh, oh, him as Blade. They want yeah. Well, it's not certain if he's Blade, but we know that Marvel's talking to him about a future role. So that's all we know. A future hero role. What else? Is Who else could it be? It's probably. It's Blade. not going to be Black Panther. They're going to go deep and do some like rocket racer. It or... better be flipping Radar. That's all yeah. I'm saying. Yeah. I want some blood. <laughs> I want some guts. Some gore. I want some vampire clubs. Some dead vampires. Yeah. Some vampire clubs, because yeah. that's what the first ones were. Yeah. People dancing in the clubs. Essentially. They bring in some some poor sap from the streets yeah. who wants to go clubbing. Yeah. And they try to eat him. You know, they probably just filmed that whole thing in Wesley Snipes' house. <laughs> the house it wasn't paint taxes. That's probably what it was. So Spawn, Blade, I'm gonna go um, I'm gonna go Christian Bale's Batman. So good. He, I was thinking about him the whole time, yep. but it's just there's a few others I that I think are like I know. the Michael Keaton's bomb. right there, as far as Batman. Yeah. Oh, I loved his. I loved good. his Batman. Um, but I think Christian Bale takes it. I'm gonna go uh, uh, Logan. Yeah. But we'll, uh, Hugh Jackman is Wolverine. Hugh Jackman is Wolverine. Best for sure. of all time. All and time. I'm gonna go Deadpool number one. Yeah. Deadpool. They're really. It's you're gonna be hard pressed to find a better. 
match up for for hero to to actor. I mean, it's just it's the best. So we could. Do you want to go straight villain or an, villain anti hero? Let's go. We can do. We can add in anti anti heroes if you feel like they are more hero okay. than villain. So let's go straight villain. Okay. Just for now, and if you want to add an anti hero, you can. You get right. one anti hero. One anti hero. Go for it. All right. All right. So for villains, let's get into this. Um, I feel like this is a good. This is a good podcast. This is a really good podcast. You guys are going to enjoy it if you stick around for the whole thing. <laughs> yeah. So, um, if you're still in this, congrats. Congratulations. You're getting to the good stuff. Yeah. So now, um, I'm going to go ahead and say that I think the, the greatest villain of all time for uh, uh, superhero anything. You're going number one straight off the bat. Number one straight off the bat, okay. just because I have to you're say You're going to back it down to five. Go. Heath Ledger, Joker. Whew. Duh. Duh. It has to be. I mean, it's Duh. probably the greatest. Now, um, I, I think that the next best villain uh, portrayed is probably Loki. Tom Hiddleston. Okay. Tom Hiddleston as Loki. Okay. There's so much depth there. The whole brother connection. The you know the hit, loving loving his mom, hating his dad, and just like how much you get. We got him a lot of time with him too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not that time is is contingent upon how good a, a villain is, but just that he's proven himself every time. Yeah. You know, and so I didn't I see would, that coming. I thought you were gonna go either Mickey Rourke or Jeff Bridges. Oh, <laughs> yeah. No, I was, I was going to go with um, uh, Venom from Spider-Man 3. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I, was, I thought no you were going to go, uh, Hobgob- from I you were gonna go Hobgoblin. Oh, yeah. Spider-Man 3. Yeah, yeah, no way. <laughs> Not a chance, man. The best of all time, Hobgoblin. Yeah, you know it. So, okay, number three. Okay, so number three, I'm going to go ahead and say um, uh, greatest villains of all time. Let me scan through my villains. Um... Let me see. I really liked um, Michael Keaton's Vulture. He was a good Vulture. I liked his Vulture because he wasn't pure evil. Yeah. It's like I could see myself if I got burned by a company and I had to provide for my wife and daughter and I had that situation. It's like, would I go there? What are you going to do? Would I go there? Like, you know, it's like, like, and I could relate to him. You've been scrapping these parts for months. Yeah. Making good money, and then they come and just take it from you. Yeah, and the rich guy just comes in and swoops all your stuff. He doesn't even bother to reimburse you nope. for the trucks you purchased for your thing. It's like, I, you know, I can I can sympathize very strongly. Is that number three? Him. And I really loved his performance. I like that one. But I think I might put that one at number four because okay. I think number three is probably Willem Dafoe as the Green Goblin. Yeah, stole mine. <laughs> Willem Dafoe as the Green Goblin yeah. is one of the greatest villain castings of all time. I thought you were going to put uh, the Joker from uh, Suicide Squad on there. I'm very disappointed. No. <laughs> no, he's not on this list. I'm very disappointed. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, he's, look, he's fun. Harley, I like that Joker. But... Harley Quinn by far outshined him. By far. Oh, by a long shot. Even by a dead shot. Because Will Smith even outshined him. It was like... It was very. Uh, if they had made give him me the, the guy's primary. name again, the skull flame guy, Ghost Rider. No, 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 in the Suicide Squad. Oh, in um, Diablo. 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 Diablo outshined everyone in that movie. Outshined the Joker. I know, and that's the sad part. Is like I had such high hopes for uh, for that character and the actor playing him. I can't remember his name right now. Uh, Jared Leto. Jared Leto. I had such high hopes. Jared Leto. I've been uh, does it a lot? I get I forget things. I play football, I get punched in the head. Yeah. Soccer, you get hit in the head with a ball, you know. Come I home forget. from work to kiss your wife, punch in the head. Yeah, you know, I forget things, guys. We forget things, it's okay. I fall off a dirt bike, you know. Yeah. But anyway, what I was going to say was Jared Leto's Joker actually is really good. It they is. could have it's so they, underrated. They could have had a really great Suicide Squad movie, which I enjoyed. I enjoyed Suicide, Suicide Squad. I liked the movie. I just don't think it's a great film. Um, because I, they they got sidetracked with some other story with the Enchantress. Yeah. And it's like, look, nobody wants to see your CGI bad guy. We want to see the Joker. Yeah. Give us the Joker. That's why the Justice League sucked as far as the villain. He looked like some, like, whitewashed raisin. And that's why a lot of people think that the Venom movie's going to suck. Because of CGI. Yeah. But, but what do you want? You can't give him a real suit. 
you that's can't gonna, you can't do that. That's gonna move. That's not venom. This isn't the 1998 when you could just get away with the Ninja Turtles. <laughs> yeah, you can't foam suit it. You have to. Do actually... you guys want another repeat of Spider-Man Three where it looked like he had no nose? Yeah, we I don't mean, want that. We don't want that. That Venom had like four teeth in his mouth. I saw the picture the other day of the comparisons. Yeah. I love exact. I love the way this Venom looks. He this, looks amazing. This Venom looks amazing. I think. Get um, out of my face with all your hate and criticism. We'll talk about that. Yeah, we'll talk right, about it. Right after our, so, our our villain yeah. pick. So what did so I have? I had your three was. Um, I had Heath Ledger's Joker, Hiddleston, Hiddleston, uh, Ke uh, Keaton's Vulture, Keaton's Vulture as four. I actually think that Spider-Man villains probably take the cake. Oh, <laughs> you took William Defoe. Willem Defoe, yeah, and then, and then also um, I think that um, uh, the Doctor Octopus from Star from Spider-Man Two. Oh, that was. A he was a really good villain. That was um, a good one. Oh, that was so good. I, I like that one, too. A lot too. of people hated it, but Sandman wasn't bad. Sandman wasn't bad. They should have just stuck to either Sandman or Venom. They gave you and three. They gave us too much. It was too much to And then off. he turned into a hero at the end. Yeah. It was Bob just... Goblin. It was too much. They could have had a great story with just Harry. They could have had a great story with just Sandman. They could have had a great... you know, like They, they could have turned it into three blockbuster movies. Yeah. But they had to, like, cram it. They wanted it to be bigger. They Venom, wanted to be Venom more. Venom could have looked so much better in that movie. Should have looked better. He looked like Spider-Man's black suit with four teeth in his mouth. Yeah, without the cool eyes. Stupid. <laughs> it was so it's retarded. So sad stuff. I know, I'm still bitter. But I, I'm actually really pleasantly surprised by the Venom trailer because... We are Venom. We are Venom. It looks awesome. Love it. Love it, it looks so good. All so these haters kick rocks. Yeah, you can all kick rocks. <laughs> kick bricks. The, uh, Take two baths. That's right. That's what they say in one, Holland. One for you and one that's for your like, attitude. That's like kick rocks in Holland is take two baths. Really? Yeah, I don't know why, but that's what it is. That's funny. Um, that's so a, that was your five. Seems not so aggressive. I know. Yeah. But it's supposed to be something like terrible. Okay. Yeah. Like in Australia, you could say all these bad things, but if you say piss off, that's like the worst of the worst. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder what they, how they feel about Americans saying, man, I'm so pissed off right now. I know. Piss off. Piss off. Sorry okay. for any of my uh, people who might see this in, in another country. It's, to us, it's not like a cussing thing. So I uh, um, hope it's not uh, uh, too offensive. Uh, I try to keep this channel PG, so. <laughs> I'm trying to think what else here. Oh, so you're villains? Villains, we're, we're getting sidetracked. Joker, Hiddleston, Defoe, Keaton, and uh, Dr. Octavius. Yeah, I think that's nice. my top five. That's a good one. Yeah, so let me I'm going to go... Um, Spawn's villain, the clown. Oh yeah, I can't, no, I can't just, remember I'm his just name. That's, he's terrible. He was awful. I was like, that's a unique choice, man. No, no, no. <laughs> just pick deep. all the villains of the people that I just named as my super. Yeah, exactly. Um, I'm gonna go Joker, Heath Ledger. It's one of mm -hmm. my favorites. I mean, when yeah. I when so when I saw that I saw that movie opening night, and when I saw when when I saw the opening scene, you know, when they're taking the bank and all that stuff, no one knew that that was the Joker. No, nobody knew. Mm -hmm. When he took his mask off, it was like somebody took a giant vacuum and sucked all the air out of the room. Yeah. He stole that movie. He stole it completely. Like, even, even among Christian Bale being the Batman. First superhero movie guy to win an Oscar? Yeah. And the only. To this day still. Probably it's forever. Incredible performance. Unless Killmonger wins one. Yeah, unless, yeah, Killmonger. But right, we'll see. He was great. I loved Killmonger. Yeah, he was good. Loved it. It was good. He said he studied the Heath Ledger Joker for that film. Yeah. He said, makes sense. He said uh, two weeks before he started filming, before he even walked on set, he was already Killmonger. Like, mm -hmm. people were moving out of his way. He was already, he already had that attitude. He was walking around in the same clothes, mm -hmm. had the braids, all that stuff. Yeah. So I love that type of... Especially yeah. when you're not... That's method uh, acting. Especially when you're not a, a, a complete jerk, Jared. Leto. <laughs> yeah, Jared Leto. Sending, Sending, like, used stuff and... Rat poop and... Dead rat bodies and that's disgusting. Spit in people's coffee. That's absolutely disgusting. Be a jerk. <laughs> anyway, I appreciate the method acting. Though. Yeah, I appreciate the links you. Pre go to. Yeah, I appreciate your commitment to your, to your job. <laughs> um, okay, so I'm gonna go with the Joker, of course. Of course. Of all time. Joker number one. I'm going with. Oh man, 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 Let's see. There's so many. I know, I know. William Defoe. Willem Dafoe. 
Boom. Green I Goblin. Think, I think he could have played an amazing Joker. I think he still can. I think he's actually appropriate age. I think that comparatively to Ben Affleck. Yeah. If they were to bring him in as the Joker. Yeah. And just forget Jared Leto exists. Yeah. Then you could you could or if they're gonna reboot at all, mm -hmm, you mm -hmm. could have him step in as a Joker. If you guys haven't seen those um, photoshops of him as the Joker, go to Boss Logic. Go to go to Boss Logic on on uh, Instagram. Yeah. Go check it out. There's incredible uh, Willem Dafoe Jokers. He's amazing. That Boss Logic guy is an absolute superstar. And if you haven't seen him play the Green Goblin, it's literally it's legendary. Like it's it's. You can they, take him and plug him in immediately, same character. They could have stopped with the first Spider-Man film and everyone would have been happy. Yeah, just yeah, they could have. If that they had stopped, it would so well. be done. Like, you, you would never have to make another He even played a great Green Goblin in the second movie. Yeah, when he came back in the flashbacks. Yeah. Yeah. When he was in, in the, the mirror and stuff. he was in his brain and all that towards the end. Yeah. yeah. Amazing. Okay. Amazing. Let's see, what else? So was well, number two? Joker, Defoe. Uh, as Green Goblin. Yep. Um, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. Uh, uh, I can't remember the guy's name, but the guy from uh, Legends of Tomorrow or whatever. Yeah. Oh, Legends of Tomorrow. Um... He was in Flash too, the fire guy. Oh, oh, Heat Wave. Heat Wave. I'm gonna go Heat, Heat Wave as Dracula. Oh, it's Dracula. Blade, in Blade 3. Okay, yeah, yeah. Um, let me see if I can remember his name really quick. It's, um... Hang on. Hang on. I used to want him to play Eddie Brock. I wanted him to be the... Okay, yeah. The, I, used to, I used to do fan art. Speaking of Eddie Brock, I'm gonna go Joe Manganiello. That's Eddie Brock. <laughs> Joe, such, Joe, a deep Joe, reference, such a deep cut reference. Yeah. yeah. Joe, or he, was, he was Flash Thompson. Yeah. The bully. Yeah. yeah. Joe, uh, Joe Manganiello. Oh, sorry, yeah. Not Eddie Brock. Jeez, Flash Thompson. Sorry, yeah. yeah. Um, I'm gonna go. So, so Dracula uh, in Blade Three. I'm okay. Go. Uh, um, um, I loved his character, even though he didn't turn out to be a villain. But um, Iron Man. Oh, is it um, the the Mandarin? The Mandarin. The Mandarin. I'm gonna go Mandarin. But the first one, not the Aldrich Killian. The other yeah, one. Yeah, the first guy. Yeah, the who first was the guy. actor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm going Mandarin. Okay. I loved it. The first man. I loved right. how intense he was, and then he turned out to be this total wimp and this funny dude. A fake. Yeah, it was amazing. <laughs> he was great. I um, hope that they, they do some sort of like, re like I, I'm, repair, I'm, like a history repair. Yeah. They go back, and it turns out he really was the Mandarin, and he was double faking. Yeah. Because I really am just thinking about like the movies I've seen recently. So like when people are like, oh, the Mandarin, like what a terrible villain. No, he was, he was awesome. He was awesome. Amazing. Huge stage presence. Played so well. Yeah. Yeah. You're talking about the guy who played uh, Pharaoh in yeah, Joseph. Yeah, yeah, it, in, yeah. Uh, in Prince of, Prince of Egypt. Yes, yes. yes. And he played it in the real life one. Yeah. Um, as well as the cartoon. And then I'm going to go five. Who's the last one? Um, let's see. I'm trying to think here now. Last villain. Lord Zod. He was on. He was the next one. If I had a sixth option, yeah. General Zod was going to be General that next Zod. Guy. Uh, Michael Shannon. Yeah. Michael Shannon uh, playing Zod. Uh, Zod or I mean, I have a tiebreaker for this one. It was Zod or. Uh, oh shoot! I just forgot my favorite. I know the movie was awful, but the uh, the uh, opposite of Edward Norton in that whole movie. Oh oh yeah 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 um. I, oh, dang it. I, know I love that actor. I know you're talking about the guy who played the Abomination. The Abomination. The Abomination. I love that actor. Yeah. I loved his character. He was so dope, and I loved the way the Abomination looked. Yeah. And, yeah, he was just, dude, he was sick. I ha I forgot my all-time favorite villain um, for, like, comic book stuff. Yeah. It's it's actually from Smallville was Lex Luthor. Not bad. I really Good loved Lex Luthor Michael Smallville. Rosenbaum as Lex Luthor yeah. was my favorite. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I loved him. Uh, and if you if you want to go even deeper on like the uh, he's almost an antihero in Smallville. Though. Yeah, he's almost yeah. he's almost that antihero pick. Yeah, because he's good and bad. Like he does good things. He's raised bad, and it's like he you know 
uh, he's trying to prove himself, but then then he gets shut off by Clark. So there's just yeah, yeah. That was my top top five top five villains, villains and then my, that was heroes. that was my antihero. I think I'm gonna it go with good. Lex Luthor from Smallville. It was good, um, despite that he's kind of not a man. It was good. Not a. Not Notice how neither of us had Superman or Batman, or I had Batman, but none of us had like Superman or the Hulk or Thor. Yeah. Well, I had I had. Man of Steel as my as one of my oh that's act, right actor picks what am I talking about as an actor pick yeah yeah so that was a, a really good one mm. but yeah so I mean uh, let's, now, we could uh, really quick uh, we could wrap it up with Venom talk Venom talk let's do Venom talk for the last last part of this yeah so um, what was your first initial thought when they announced the Venom film so when they announced the Venom film the first initial thought was who is gonna play him yeah because we saw that that '70s show guy play him and it was awful terrible that was the worst that literally was the worst even even the even the venom scream when he was like you know what I mean. you know what i mean they're like <laughs> it was like a small deer being attacked by a lion yeah yeah it was, it was awful it was terrible so everything about that venom was awful he really yeah. wasn't that much bigger than spider-man no not not at all <clears throat> the only time he ever remember. felt bigger at all in was any when he capacity was separated, right? yeah it was when his the, yeah. the, the symbiote was spreading out that was the only time um, that he felt at when, all bigger than Spider-Man. When I found out Tom Hardy was playing Venom, I was like, this movie has an absolute chance. Absolute chance. That's because the same thing I said. his Bane was amazing. Mm-hmm. I don't know. The Mad film, Max. The film is very, very ridiculous. Charles Bronson. I haven't seen Bronson. it. Bronson. Uh, do not watch it with the kids. <laughs> um, but Bronson, amazing. True story, by the way. Mm-hmm. Um, Mad Max was great. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm trying. There's like one more film. A warrior. Was yeah, great. dude. The, the UFC. Yeah, the MMA one. He's yeah, great. A warrior. I know there's one more I'm missing, but oh well. But he's an incredible talent. Yeah. I mean, we could just keep going on and on and on. And he's a physical. The dude is like specimen. I mean, he's the probably, way that he bulked up for warrior. He got shredded. He bulked up and he was at the same time. Like he, his shoulders were up to here. He had traps that touched his ears. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> literally touched his ears. It was insane. He looked like Venom in that film. Yeah. It was nuts. And everybody wanted him for Wolverine, and so did I. And, and But then when they cast him as Venom, I had no complaint. Because I, I was like, he's the perfect I was, I was physical cool specimen for and, Venom. And another another thing is when I when I finally saw like uh, like uh, pictures or videos that just got released this week, Yeah, um, I was very... I was like a lot of people at the beginning. I had to see it a couple times to kind of get into it. I was very like, I expected more from like the aspect of like, obviously the CGI is not going to be great right now because it's still in, in post-production. Yeah. But. Not finished. But even... Yeah, it's not finished. But I was expecting more as far as like, it just looks weird when that stuff launches out of his body. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. It, it... just kind of like flies out of there. Mm-hmm. There's no like you don't see it exiting. It just kind of is already there. Yeah. Well, it's, the the yeah. part part of that is because um, in the in the comics it it merges with you, but it also served as Peter Parker's clothes. Yeah. So it actually replaced his clothes. Like it, it, he's not actually wearing anything. It's, oh, so it's, it's a sweater. It's almost like a sweater, suit. t-shirt, yeah, pants. It's like a. Oh my it merges Lord. with you like an extra set of skin as it's inside of you. Yeah, because it's like it's it's. The symbiote connects to you, and it almost like connects through your skin a little That's bit. Ridiculous. But it's it stays on the outside like an armor. That's nuts. And then it merges with your mind, and it connects like I think I don't know how they haven't really explained if it goes through your spine mm-hmm. or if it goes just telepathically. Yeah. But it bonds with you through physical contact, and then it's the outside of you. So he's probably not actually wearing any clothes at that point. It's probably the symbiote being his clothes. That's ridiculous. And that's why it comes out like that. Let's talk about this, though. You say symbiote. Oh, and they're all symbiote. They say symbiote. <laughs> yeah, I've heard it. Kumbaya. Kumbaya. Hakuna Matata. Kumbaya. Kombucha. Kombucha. <laughs> the, the, the alcoholic, I mean, non-alcoholic. Can we fix that in post-production? Can we? I don't know. Is it possible? Can they possibly change the way that... And, um, what's her name? <sighs> the, the ex-girlfriend of... Captain America said um, uh, symbiote. Is it symbiote? Is it symbiote? Is when it they symbiote? Made, is it I mean, symbiote? We're gonna go, I'm going to go off track for a second. When they made Airbender, 
They called them Ong instead of Ang. I straight up hated it. Get them. out of my face. Get out of here. Now let's get back to Venom. Yeah, that, that type of thing irks me. So when I heard it, I at first I was super pissed off. She said it then, twice in a matter of two minutes. Yes. Symbiot. And then I had to question. Symbiot. I had to question whether or not I have been saying it right this whole time or not. So I still don't know. How do we know that we're saying it right? I don't can know. Can Stan Lee please put out an Instagram video? Yeah, can like Stan Lee or like Jack Kirby or whoever just come out and say, this is how you say symbiote, Cause Excelsior. You, because you know they didn't want to, they don't want to make people angry, so you know they probably got it right. I don't know. They should have gotten it yeah. right. Yeah. Hopefully they didn't just give the script to the, to the girl and she's like, oh yeah, I can say this. Symbiote. Yeah. You know, she's like reading it like a dictionary. Symbiote. Actually, we should she said at, symbiote. We should just go straight to the dictionary. Symbiote? She said symbiote. Yeah, I don't sim know. I think she, she said, said symbiote stupid. or biot. She we'll, said it wrong. We'll look it up, and it feels wrong. It feels very wrong. Um, but, so, so that irked me a little bit, but then I started, you know, finished the trailer. When they show Venom, like, remember? I remember, lost it. Remember when... Uh, in the in the other Spider-Man, they they don't show Venom, like retrieve. Yeah, they just kind of show these veiny things around the dude's face. Yeah, and he has these weird. T Why does he have fangs? I don't know. Yeah, he's not a vampire. No, only Venom has teeth. Yeah, Venom the guy, is the one the that has guy teeth. should not have fangs. It bothers me yeah. some of these these but, little details. But they... that's the old film. This new one, when they showed the suit coming up and around him to engulf him, because it makes I sense. I was like, "That's dope." And it's comic book accurate. That's dope. It's dope. It looks sick. I was like, I was so pumped. My brother, like, and I used to play the video the games. The tongue. There was no. T I don't remember there being a tongue in the other Spider-Man. This fat, venomy tongue. That was dope. That was dope because that's part of him. That's yes. that's part of what makes Venom Venom is that gigantic tongue. I mean, even cosplayers the get slime that stuff, coming right? out of his mouth. There was no slime in the other guy. No, it was all. It looked like cotton mouth, like he just smoked some weed. It was or horrifying. It was awful. It's terrible. Anyway, we're still getting over that. Obviously, we have a lot to deal with. It, it all comes back up because of the new Venom film, but in that's a good way because yeah. we're excited for this new yeah. one. Uh, a lot I, of people are like, it should be better. And I agree, it should be better than the last Venom. It'll be very hard to not be it, better. It has to be better than the last Venom. Like, there's no, there's no like, oh, well, you know, it was better than the last one. It should be better. It there's no excuse should. for why it couldn't be better. Yeah. And, and uh, I will say it looks good. I cannot wait to see it. I might have to book some tickets in advance for that one. Um, I hope in the post-credits we see a Carnage. Oh, I'm sure we will. I I'm sure we will. Hope it looks like it's going to be the Indian guy. I hope it's not. Riz Ahmed. He's a good actor, but I also I don't, don't think for that sure. Comic book accuracy would mean we get ourselves a ginger. Yeah. We need a ginger. For, for sure, he's a, an amazing actor. I hope he stays the scientist route, though. Yes. I hope they keep. I hope it's not like, oh, dude, like look what he look what he did. Like he turned into Venom. Inject me with some stuff so I can turn into whatever. Yeah. I hope we get a legit comic book accurate carnage. Yeah. Some hick that is a serial killer before he became and I carnage. hope we get it only because they've been they test on people. I yeah. hope that's why we get it. Yeah. I hope like in the post credits or whatever they're testing on somebody. And we see Carnage. Yeah, because if they're already going to go with this whole like lab rat testing stuff, I mean, they have a storyline that would work there. They could plug it in. They could plug that story in nicely, smoothly. Yeah. But at least keep Cletus Cassidy yeah. the, or, the or, way he's supposed to be to yeah. be Carnage. Yeah. Keep Cletus the same because they're doing any justice from yeah. what we've seen so far. Yep. He's the journalist. He's the photographer. He's generally a good guy. And he's generally jacked. Yeah. So he he's already built. He's yeah. a bodybuilder like Eddie Brock was. Because in the a lot of people got mad when they were like, "Oh, why is he like talking to it, trying to reason with it?" Because he was generally a good guy. Yeah, he wasn't. He wasn't. That's why villain. he was exposing the program. Exactly. Venom was evil. Venom is a survivalist yeah. alien that does not give a rip about other life. And we and we can wrap it up right here. But um, yeah, Tom Holland has reported to be seen on set. I heard that too, and that's very exciting. Uh, very possible that they're going to unite uh, uh, at some point, maybe in the future. Yeah. Uh, hopefully, maybe we can even might, get a Thunderbolts movie he, with like the Punisher. He and... might be in the post credits. He could very well be in the. Post See, here's the thing. I hope Punisher, or a cameo, maybe a mention. I hope Punisher doesn't get a movie. 
Oh yeah. Only because the Netflix version. The Netflix so version good. is so so sick. Dude, when he pushed that guy's eyes into his socket, I was like, it'd be hard not to do that. <laughs> it's amazing. If if you went through all that, it'd be hard not to do it. Okay, guys. Well, thank you so much. This has been a very long bro talk, but I'm going to leave it unedited because I'm still on family leave and I'm not going to spend the time to edit. You guys are just going to either be able to sit down and enjoy the ride or whatever, but just go ahead and make sure to um, check out my guy, Jimmy, yep. over at... Um, you can uh, follow me at official Jimmy Martinez on Instagram. Um, I think I am on Facebook at Jimmy Martinez. I don't go on there very much. You can follow me on Twitter. Uh, I think at... Jimmy Wade 19. Wade like w Wade Wilson. W-A-D-E 19. Yes. Um, and you can follow The Way of MMA where I make all my fight predictions. I do a lot of fight stuff. It's a lot um, of fun. And I do a lot of fight stuff on my personal, but you can follow both. And if you'd like, I, um, you can follow my other company, uh, Wade Athletics. There's not, nothing has been posted yet, but stuff will be getting posted soon. So stay tuned. Um, and yeah, just thank you guys. Yeah, totally. And check out his podcast as well. Oh, yes. My podcast so, is uh, right Gym here. Talk. Gym Talk. Like Jimmy? Right here. The Gym Talk podcast. You can yes. uh, follow me on SoundCloud. Um, I will be trying to get up on iTunes soon, Google Play, Stitcher, um, YouTube. I will be uploading videos soon. I only have one up there for now, so if you'd like, you can go check that out. Yeah. Um, but yeah, those are all my... Uh, my social media feeds. Perfect, and I will put those links down in the description below when I get home and I get a chance to fill that out. So, uh, yeah, it's been a pleasure to come out here. There'll be a link right here? Yeah, no, or here, no, or know. here, or somewhere. I will actually, I'll put a link okay. for your, your channel somewhere. <laughs> I've always wanted to do that. Yeah. I'll put a link right here. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll see if I can put it right here in the middle yeah. between our heads. I'll put a link over the Star Industries. Yeah, some, somewhere over here, you can, I'll block myself out <laughs> with another link to one of his videos or something. Yeah. Um, so right now, his YouTube channel is just kicking off. Yep. Um, so there won't be a whole lot on the YouTube, but give him no. a follow anyway. Subscribe one video, eight months ago. Be yeah. easy on me. It's been, a, it's been, you know, I've, I've been busy. So. Right, and that's not his primary source of output. He typically does the podcast on SoundCloud. Yes. So that is where you can Audio. follow him. Yo. So we are on the way out, but give me, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, give us a like. Uh, share this video if you love it. And also, please make sure to subscribe to this video. Leave a comment down below to let us know if you agree with anything we said. Share with us your top five picks for yeah, actors, definitely. top five picks for villains, superheroes, yeah. and are you going to go see Infinity War this weekend? That would be really cool. I can't wait to hear from you guys. But again, no spoilers for a little bit. Just make sure that you're courteous to everybody else on the channel. God bless. God bless you guys, and we will see you guys next time right here on The Stuff of Legend.